Well, let's look at the story. Um, quite hilarious, uh, but also great content in there. Because they were quite an inconvenient to carry around, but certainly a dependable companion in boarding school. If you didn't have a new one, perhaps you may have inherited one from a relative back in the day. The iconic red and black traditional trunk box was certainly a treasure. Many of us did treasure ours too. But has modernity affected the price and demand for the gold old trunk used for school? Sandra Sinamapenu takes a trip down memory lane to Jamestown, a trunk manufacturing hub here in Accra, and brings you the rest of the story. So let's take a trip down memory lane into the boarding school. And if you really went to a boarding school, then you know what I'm talking about. That red and black unique box known as a trunk. And if you really went to that school, you know that it was one of your most companions in the boarding house. But as time changes and modernity has set in, what has become of the trunk business in Ghana? <laughs> This is Jamestown, the hub of the good old metallic box trunk. Following the collapse of two trunk manufacturing companies, Nami Metals and Lynx in the late 70s, affected workers migrated here at Jamestown to start their own business. And since 1976, these men have held on to the business, ensuring the trunk culture lingers. Charles Omanikwe is one of those men, and he tells me experience has made the job easier. We, the workers, we work at the, from the, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, Nyami Metals and Links. We are those who have come down to, uh, we started working, uh, doing this uh, uh, trunks here. Depending on the demand, Charles is able to manufacture a trunk within three hours. You have to go the metal, the metal sheets, and that the steel plates. And then the steel plate, you do your marking after the, after the marking. You do the cutting, the cutting. Then you start molding, and, and then for molding, welding, and then after welding, then you spray. Two three hours I can manufacture one truck. The business has also created an opportunity for people willing to learn the trade. Emmanuel Ashile has been an apprentice for the past six years. Six years, then it then we six years we read. Six years we must complete na sena ye ni na ano ni complete no spray no sena ye try plate no ya ye di modi ni na sese mini mini ni na ye. Within six years, I've gone through the complete apprenticeship. I can now cut more than spray. My friend say I dey can back no ya ten cities, ten cities. It be a semi. Currently, I work on contract basis and I charge 10 Ghana cities for molding and trunk. If I'm able to mold about 20 a day, I get 200 Ghana cities. So it depends on the demand, and sometimes I'm able to mold 20 within three days. Four days or three days' time, no know where you are. High demand for trunks, especially during the academic season, has pushed lots of youngsters into the manufacturing business. One would have thought, with the evolution of time, demand for trunks would dwindle. The story is rather the opposite. More and more parents would choose trunk on any day to modern day briefcases. The reason is simple, holding on to tradition and durability. Since I know that the, the, the trunk is better than the troubles, because the trunk, there's a, a locker, two lockers, and there may be incense and those things cannot get to it so that to spoil its food or those things, the items in the trunk. That's why I choose to take the trunk. So what, what do you say to people who think that, okay, trunk is outmoded, so we should be going for the echo lags, the briefcases to school. Now, do you share the same opinion? They say we should use the trunk and then we should buy the Ecolax to attach because of, uh, since I have seen that maybe uh, uh, she, she's going to use a lot of things, the clothes and the, the, the items for the food. That wise, I think that uh, if you use the Ecolax with the trunk, it's okay, but the troubles, I, I, I don't think. But which do you prefer? I prefer the trunk with right. the Ecolax. Uh, the safety is because of the, the, the metal that they used to do it, 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 it keep long, 
and then it will last. Well, I don't think the trunk is outmoded as such. But looking at, uh, let me say, the, the student, the way they behave in the campus, actually the trunk is, will be, let me say, to be very favorable for them in the campus. So it's, it's, it's good. Okay. But why are you not going for a chop box? Chop box, let me say, is made up of wood, and this one is made up of metal. And trouble, the troubles can easily break, yeah. while the metal is durable and can also last longer. So I think the metal type is better. I'm sure you used trunk in school. Yeah, I did. Well, why is your old trunk? Oh, it is in, the, it is in my hometown. <laughs> well, yeah. why, why are you still keeping your trunk? Yeah. Oh, you know, let me, for historical reasons, so I have to keep it. You, know. you should have passed it on to your child. Yes, now my child is just a 10 years daughter, so... When she grows, I normally show it to them that when I was in school, this is what I use. Mm, so I'm sure you also use the, 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 the unique color, red and black. Yes. So uh, don't you think it's about time we change the color of the trunk? <laughs> okay, uh, it's that, that's one. I don't think it will be, it's nothing because uh, uh, that's why I said that looking at the color of the students, the way they drag the, the materials in the school, so it's, it's favorable for, for that particular color is favorable, I think. A trunk now ranges between 70 and 100 cities, depending on the quality of the metal sheets. Despite the high demand, manufacturers say they are bedeviled with several challenges. The metal sheets used in the manufacturing of the trunks are not made locally. They are imported. The fast depreciating CD is also having a huge toll on the business. The metal sheet is now expensive and hard to get. The dollar has also affected the price of the metal sheet, pushing a lot of manufacturers to use inferior metal sheets in manufacturing the trunks. But trust me, the trunk is the best. And if you have never used the trunk, then you never went to secondary school. Another hindrance to the business is the double track SHS system. Some of the manufacturers alleged the intake of more day students under the double track system has affected demand. The double track SHS system is affecting sales. There are more day students now than borders. For now, a trunk reaches between 70 and 100 Ghana cities, depending on the quality of metal sheets. This factory, which served as a manufacturing house, has been under lock and key for some time now, pushing many manufacturers to employ the manual means of operating, affecting our Output. This is as a result of the inability to pay the increasing rent cost. Well, the machine works faster than the manual work. So we, you know, we see you have to go extra mile. You see, uh, so that, that, that's the reason why you see them scattered all over the streets. Some of those who were under apprenticeship, you see, because the factory has closed down, it, they are not under control. All that the demand is high, you see. Those who have uh, passed out from this uh, uh, apprenticeship because of the cost of living, they need money. So they are also manufacturing outside the, uh, their masters. And so there you see them using these inferior materials and so on and so forth. For over 40 years, these men have not only kept the trunk tradition alive, but have also provided job opportunities for many young people. But despite their contribution, they say the sector has been neglected. Some of the manufacturers believe it's about time Ghana starts exporting the trunks to at least neighboring countries. We have small scale industries. They encourage by marketing our product at our neighboring countries, but they are not, they are not doing it. They are the office doing the office work, paperwork, but practically they are doing nothing. Let's say China, for instance. China is helping a lot of its uh, citizens for uh, this, let's say, in marketing their products. 
Some of their product sets are not durable, they are not fine, but, but still they promote them. Why not our people? It's a time that the government should come and help us in exporting. I am why I hear say and say your materials, you know, your perception on China prices in the platform. We are appealing to government to help check the cost of the metal sheet. The cost of paint is also too high. A small container of paint used to sell at 50 cities, but it's now going for 55 cities. The hike in fuel prices is also affecting our operations. Government has been talking about one district, one one factory. Do you think that it's good for governments to factor this business into their project? We we'll appreciate it, but let, uh, uh, in fact, when it happens, or as you are interviewing me now, when it got to that play, that uh, stand, that you say people will be chasing, and then you say the uh, business will be given to different people. Uh, as actually are interviewing me now, if it happens that this one district, one factory is, is coming to this district, eh, you have to find those who are manufacturing, those the real uh, manufacturers, you see, not the boys or those who are on the apprenticeship, you see, or somebody who just come in because he, he knows, excuse me to say, he knows a minister or so and so on so like that, and then you see that this business will be given to him, whilst he is not the manufacturer factor or you don't know how the uh, plate is mold and so and so and so forth. So uh, we would like if government will assist us. Perhaps this could be one of the areas governments may want to invest in under the one district, one factory program. After all, every high school student is a patron of the good old metallic box, trunk. Yes, tradition goes on. Our grandparents used the same trunk, the same color. Our parents used it and we used it and we are also passing it on to our kids. But most people have a question as to why the color is still the same, that unique red and black look. Well, as I say, tradition goes on. So the trunk stays the same and modernity has in no way from what you are picking on the ground affected the good old trunk. From Jamestown, the trunk hub. My name is Sandra Senamapenu for Joy Business.